Do you really need to rebind? Let's see. You have an application, here is the UI. Behind the UI is the application code, a COBOL program with embedded SQL statements. And there's the target DB2 system. For all this to work in synergy, you need to pre-compile, to compile, to link edit, and to bind. Let's examine this process a bit more in detail. Here is your application code. And the first phase, pre-compile, checks the SQL in the program for errors. It adds working storage areas used to invoke DB2, one of which is a consistency token. And it extracts all the SQL statements in a DBRM. You then compile your program. And the link edit phase creates a load module. The last phase is the bind process itself, which reads the DBRM created in the pre-compile phase, calculates SQL access paths, and stores that package in the DB2 catalog. A package is bound into a collection, which is part of a plan. But let's not get distracted. What is really interesting is the consistency token, the timestamp, that is created at the pre-compile phase and goes all the way down to the load module and the package. These two have to match for the program to work. If they do not match, you get the famous minus 805 SQL code that indicates a bind is necessary. After all that, your program and the DB2 system can work together. But what happens when you need to change your program to add a new feature, for example? Well, you need to do the same. A pre-compile, a compile, a link edit, and a rebind. But do you really need to rebind? I mean, always? Let's think about that for an example. Here is the old SQL statement, and here is the new SQL statement. There are two changes. One host variable w prefix was changed to sqa prefix, and w core name was changed to sqa dcrnm. But the type and length of these host variables have not changed. In other words, the SQL statement is the same, just the name of two program variables changed. There is really no need to recalculate the access path. The old one should work perfectly. Yeah, but if you do want your new feature in the program, you have to compile it. And that's going to create a new consistency token. And if you do not rebind, you get that minus 805. Hmm. So, would it be possible to change the tokens directly, avoiding a minus 805 and a rebind? The good news is that the tool exists, and it does exactly that. See a bind analyzer. You will find in the user guide more details about the complete process, but in a nutshell, the bind analyzer reduces the number of binds that must be performed. This eliminates the CPU and I/O overhead associated with recalculating access paths. Less binds means less contention on the DB2 catalog, and well, sometimes a new access path generated by a rebind is not as optimal as the former one, and you would have preferred to keep your good old access path with predictable performance. In other words, CA bind analyzer helps you to reduce costs and to maintain your business SLAs. Find more about CA bind analyzer at ca.com.